Thank you very much, Eliane. Appreciate that. And that's where we want to go, is to the King. I'm going to invite you to take your Bibles. Scripture reading is changing. We're going to Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31. Uh, it's a good one for me to read. It says there, the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Let's lift our hearts up in prayer as the pastor brings us the message today. Good afternoon, church. In my previous life, I was a, an Air Force officer. We had a phrase in the military that was applicable then. It was, flexibility is the key to air power. <laughs> As a pastor, I'm learning the truth of that saying every day. The sermon that's in my Bible is some 40 minutes long. And it's really a good sermon, if I have to say so myself. But if you want to hear it, you need to come next week because I'm not taking 40 minutes of your time. Because some of us feel like this young man here who are about ready to lay down and take a nap. At least your pastor feels that way. But I do want you to think about Proverbs 21, 31. And I think it's a good synopsis or capstone, if you will, to the experience that the blue shirts had this past week. Now, if you don't know what I mean by blue shirts, uh, they were the folks who gave up sleep and meals and all that so that the yellow shirts had something to do. Turn to Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31. It's a simple statement. But as is true so often in God's word, it carries a powerful meaning. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but deliverance is of the Lord. Now you have to make some assumptions, and I think they're safe to make in this case. Who do you think is preparing the horse for battle? Who was preparing a vacation Bible school for the yellow shirts? The blue shirts. And if you don't understand that, ask them how long it took to prepare for VBS. Lots of hours. Lots of sacrifice. Lots of last minute runs to the store. Because when you plan for 20 and you get 50, there are some issues you got to work through. But those are the good problems to have. So the blue shirts are working their tail off, preparing the horse for battle. And then the clock ticked to 6 o'clock. And all the preparation is over. And deliverance is of the Lord. The execution of all the planning, all the preparation, the tireless, countless hours was in the hands of our Heavenly Father. And from a guy who his job was to hold up the back wall, that was my task this week. I think God pulled it off pretty well. What do you think? So what lesson can we learn from the experience of the blue shirts this past week and apply to our lives as we move forward? To help you do that, turn to the 33rd Psalm. And look with me at verse 17. The blue shirts prepared the horse for battle, but the victory of the program was in the hands of the Lord. Proverbs, I'm sorry, Psalms 33, 17 says, A horse is a vain hope for safety, neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. There's nothing wrong with preparation. Trust me, it took a long time to make the eight pages of notes for this morning's sermon. I'm sorry, this afternoon's sermon. 
There's nothing wrong with preparing. But deliverance comes not from the horse, but from God. And when God says, hey, Westberg, that's the wrong sermon. Oh, no, it isn't. I prepare it. I'm doing it my way. We could have done it that way, but my guess is that probably wouldn't have been too good. So although you work your tail off preparing, success isn't in the horse. Psalms chapter 20. Verse 7 helps us to remember that deliverance is of the Lord. Psalms 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we shall remember the name of the Lord our God. Do not misunderstand. I am not advocating you don't prepare. Matter of fact, you should know Martin Luther's quote. I don't. I wrote it down. He said, work as if everything depends on you, then pray as if everything depends on God. It doesn't say one or the other. Do both. But no, the victory doesn't come from the horse. The victory is in the hands of our Heavenly Father. Finally, find 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Look with me at verse 57. First Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The horse is prepared for battle. You're going to do everything within your human power to get ready for whatever you are facing. And I know some of you are facing some significant challenges. Life is not a bed of roses. Life is not always easy. Things always don't go your way. For example, some of you know my daughter. She was going to get married in April. Then she said she's going to get married in October. Okay. As long as I pay the bill, whatever. I go, I go to the minister. They want to officiate their wedding, which luckily isn't me. Paying the bill and walking down the aisle is about all I can handle in this case. I asked the minister, can you marry my daughter? Yes. Go tell my secretary to put it on my calendar. Have your daughter and son-in-law do the stuff they have to do, and it'll be fine. Okay. I go talk to the secretary. I put the date on the calendar. My daughter and soon son-in-law do what they need to do. At the last counseling, pre-counseling or pre-marriage counseling, the minister checks his schedule, and he's marrying somebody else that day. My wife, daughter, and my daughter's father aren't real happy right now. Oh, and by the way, her job no longer exists. Life isn't always a bed of roses. And you prepare the horse for the battle. But we can thank God that deliverance is in the hands of the Lord. When he closes the door for that minister to marry my daughter, he's got to have somebody better. Notice the hope in that statement. <laughs> you folks, some of you, are facing significant challenges. Some of you have marital strife. Some of you are moving to a new city. Some of you aren't real happy with the house that your husband has selected in that new city. I don't know why Beth is smiling. 
<laughs> and Ken's going. In those situations, we have to prepare and work our tails off. But then we have to know that the outcome is in the hands of our Savior. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows what's best for you, regardless of how well you think you got it figured out. Remember Proverbs 21, 31. Prepare the horse for battle and then rely on God for the deliverance we all need. Closing hymn is 567, I think. If not, Shelly Ann will find something good to sing. Well, we're just winging it up here. So. Come on. No, you don't. Just 567. Five, six, seven, have thine own way, Lord. Please stand. participate. Let's close with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you have the ultimate victory in hand. Thank you that you have asked us to work our tails off, that we will be ready for what comes ahead. But give us the faith, Lord, to know that the victory is in your hands. Encourage us to that end is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.